I'm recording this video just to show you what to do to organize your answers with the activities. I know that I ask you to write a lot of activities. So every day, I ask you to write on a regular basis. So the best way to organize your answers is to just use Google Docs. So for Google Docs, what I usually do is I start with a title. So I'll write down week one writing exercises. And then I'll put my name, Kevin Olega. If you put your name, it's not going to be confusing when we place your... Oh yeah, I ask you to leave out your complete name. Just put in your nickname. So just put in Kevin. So week one writing exercises Kevin O. So you can put your you can put um, an initial for your last name. That's it. That's that's all I need. So if you put the name here, so okay, so yeah, it's going to go to the title. The next thing that you're going to do is to put the day. So um, week one activity one. Okay, so. Um, uh, my name is Kevin. I live in Paranaque. I used to work in sales. I spend my free time writing. I also enjoy going to the gym so these are my answers so like um right what do you call that right 15 right 15 sentences here okay so you do that and then it's always a good idea to format your answers so it looks looks okay so i i like using heading two so heading two, and then I'll change this to heading two as well. Week one, activity one, and then week one, activity two. Okay, and then I'll, I'll just keep going. Week one, activity three. Week one, activity four. Week one, activity five. Week one, activity six. Week one, activity seven. Now, if you have some questions, you can just put here are my questions that I would like to discuss during coaching it's not a good idea to just say kevin can you give me some tips i want to get hired in a call center ask me your specific questions what are you having trouble with what are you worried about what are the problems that you're experiencing because if you don't have questions i might give you the wrong answer because different people have different situations so i'll put this here so, write 15 sentences. I'll put this here. Write 15 or more sentences. Be as detailed as possible. So you change this to heading 2, um, write 15 or more sentences, be as detailed as possible, give complete instructions. Activity 4, 
tell me an interesting story. Okay. So let's do week five, week one activity five. Heading two. It's 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 kind of the same thing. So you do the same thing. Week one activity six. And you can do the same thing even if you are on your mobile phone. You can do the you can do the same thing. All you have to do is to just copy paste your answers and you can do the exact same thing on your mobile phone. Now activity seven has three parts. So there's part one and then there's part two and then there's part three. So go ahead and put in your answers and yeah, um, add your questions. I'd like to answer your questions for the phone coaching, but if you don't have questions, I won't be able to answer and I won't be able to help you if it's just me talking. I want to give you as much of my skills as I can during the coaching session. So yeah, do your best. Do your best to fill out your answers, do your best to organize, and this is the best way to put in your answers instead of putting it on Microsoft Word. So moving forward, I would recommend, you know, I don't recommend using Microsoft Word anymore. I don't recommend using text files. Just put your answers here and everything's going to be more organized. And the best part is if you're using Google Docs, we can use something called a, um, we can use something called the document outline so I can like during the phone coaching I can just click we can go to activity 2 we can go jump to activity 5 we can jump to your questions and you will have a really great time during the phone coaching because I'll be able to answer everything and the other thing is it Google Docs or Google Drive also has a spelling and grammar check so check it out check it out check for errors check for spelling problems check for capitalizations because you're using a computer and if you're using a computer you have to use all the tools you're not supposed to have all these errors and grammar like the tiny grammar problems can be checked if you have a wrong if you have a sentence or a part in your sentence that has incorrect grammar it will be underlined so, yeah, go ahead and do this, and I'll see you during the phone coaching. I'll talk to you, I'll answer your questions, and I'm really excited to help you out in your career, and God bless. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.